Hi guys and welcome to Thankful Thursdays again. I think this week you've probably just got me, Kel, as Rachel's not making videos at the moment as you might have already noticed. So before I get on to this week's topic, I'm just going to let you guys know I'm not very well and I don't know how many times I've said that in videos, um, but I'm not feeling very well, I'm feeling quite rough and so I've kind of just stuck some clothes on and nipped to the shops and thought I'd try and get this video made so I look kind of a bit of a mess but whatever. So the topic that we have been given or I have been given for this week is about body, about body image and the question was worded as winning the fight against bad body image strategies, things to avoid, um, bad body image days and surviving them without relapsing into your eating disorder. So, as you guys know, I'm really against directly associating an eating disorder with simply body image. And I've talked about this so many times on videos that I feel like I might end up just repeating myself in this video, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so, to me, my eating disorder was definitely absolutely nothing to do with body image. And I think that often the focus on body image is a projection of how you feel inside. You don't like yourself on the inside, you don't know how to express that or change that or deal with that. So you project that onto your body because that's something that you can control more and something that you are able to change um, in a in an easier and more noticeable way in the sense of losing or gaining weight. So I think not all of you are going to relate to that, only some of you are probably going to relate to that. But maybe if you can't relate to that, ask yourself the question about why is body image so important to you? What is it that you get from looking a specific way? Is it perhaps about having the identity of being ill? Is it about avoidance? Is it... I don't know, ask yourself that question, what is it that you're, you know, you want to look a certain way for? And I suspect that lots of you though you may automatically react that it's about body image in a kind of vanity way. But some of you, however, might, you know, if you sit with that question for a few minutes, you might realise that there's more to that than meets the eye. There's more to that than, you know, your superficial answer, which is really kind of how I see it. And please know to take offence to this. If yours is entirely about body image, then that's totally fine. We're all different in that sense. But so... In terms of fighting bad body image, like I said, mine wasn't about body image and my preoccupation with body image was actually because I was unhappy with myself on the inside. So if you're experiencing basically the same as I did, then how I had to tackle that was over, it, was, it took some time, um, if we think that I've been with a counsellor I'm seeing now for close to three years and she isn't the first counsellor I've seen either. So it's taken time but really it's about loving yourself on the inside first because you know even if you looked absolutely immaculate and fit, fit whatever you thought was perfect in terms of physicality the chances are if you weren't happy with yourself on the inside then you wouldn't see that and you would still feel lacking confidence, lacking self-esteem and you would still probably project that into feeling bad about your body. So you definitely have to love yourself from the inside out and I guess how I did that was through this, through my counselling was I slowly learnt to like myself, I slowly learnt what I was good at and learnt to be forgiving of what I wasn't good at, learnt to be forgiving of my mistakes and I learned to take compliments for people which I think is something that's very difficult for people with eating disorders and I don't just mean comments about people saying that I looked well I mean you know general comments when I did something well or whatever and for me when I was in earlier stages of recovery I liked to keep lists I kept messages from friends when they said nice things about me or I kept um, I've shown you my clipboard before so I kind of kept things on there that reminded me of things I'd, that I'd achieved without qualifications or um, volunteer work, as you guys know I do a lot of that. Um, and I kept pictures around me and cards friends had sent and stuff and I still do that, I still have you know things around that friends have sent me. And they kind of 
remind me that my worth to other people isn't based on anything external you know my friends don't care if I'm having a bad hair day or if I gain five pounds so it's really good to have that stuff around me and I think something else I've mentioned before that I really would encourage you guys to make is I made the memory book which is like a ginormous photo book of all the experiences I've had sort of post recovery for me but wherever you're at really I think it's a good time to start making them and kind of you know photos of me laughing with friends and having fun and doing silly things and those photos when I'm having a bad day I can kind of look at those pictures and they lift me up and you know you can look at those pictures and some of those days I might look, look my best but you know it doesn't matter I still had a great time with my friends and that was what was most important and I definitely had this reaffirmed to me by my youngest sister who is actually 11 years younger than me so she's only like th coming up 13 she's not even 13 yet so she was like barely 12 when she said this last year late last year and um, we were about to go out for the day and like I said my eating disorder was nothing about body image but I was having a bad hair day and it was winding me up and my little sister basically just said to me Kel I don't care what your hair looks like you can come out in a bin bag if you like all that matters is that you're having a nice time with your sister and I was really taken back that you know a 12 year old could say that but at the same time I was so proud that she was saying that and that perhaps in that sense she wouldn't be caught up in feeling bad about her body in the future or that she didn't value what was on the outside more than what was inside because obviously you know you only have so much control on the outside and it's what's on the inside that does count and I know that's so cliche but I absolutely do believe it. I think that in terms of you know body image problems like when I felt uncomfortable with weight gain and things what I always try to remind myself because that certainly was about body image because um, you know I, ga I gained a lot of weight which was kind of as a sideline to my eating disorder really because like I said my eating disorder was never about body image but as I gained the weight I felt quite uncomfortable in that and quite self-conscious um, and not in the sense that I thought I looked bad just in the fact that it was it was different and it wasn't what I was comfortable with and how I kind of got through that was that I, I constantly reminded myself that all the people around me you know even the people that I think are stunning um, all my like gorgeous friends and they have the days when they feel bad about themselves and you know they might think that there's something wrong with their nose or the colour of their hair or I don't know, whatever, they, they're probably going to be something that, they, that every person doesn't like about themselves and it doesn't change the way you experience your friends, you know, you probably don't care what their ears look like if that's what they don't like about themselves, you just don't notice that type of thing and I think it's really good to remind yourself, you know, to see that in other people and then to remind yourself that that applies to you as well and I think that's something else that people with eating disorders often do is they can see it for other people so you might agree that it, you don't care what your friends look like you don't care if they go out in a bin bag like my sister said but what you care about is having fun with them and that they're well and happy but I, see, I seem to see that people with eating disorders find it hard to project that back to themselves so they somehow think that they're different and I remember early on in my counselling being kind of challenged in that belief and being said well why are you different why are you so special that the rules that apply to everybody else around you don't apply to you and that was quite a difficult thing to hear but now I'm further on in recovery I can see how absolutely true that is so if you're applying a rule to everybody else and you're saying to them you know I don't care what you look like to be honest then why should it matter the other way around I think that's a really good question to be asking yourselves so basically I think that's kind of my view on the topics and as I, I don't think eating disorders are about body image I think it's how you, about how you feel about yourself on the inside and that will take time to change but there are all these things like I've said like keeping memory books and things from friends and reminding yourself even listing the achievements that you've made recently or throughout your life or whatever and you know having those things reaffirmed constantly can only help and I find out I've perhaps gone a little bit too far and I can be a bit daft and not care what people think and not care what I look like but do you know what that's just me so I hope this video has kind of talked about that a little bit and maybe give you something to think about in terms of your eating disorder being about body image 
so I hope you're well and I'll see you next week guys take care bye